Today's book review is brought to you by Spirit and Dust by Rosemary Clement Moore. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Rosemary Clement... Clement Moore? Rosemary Clement Moore. Clement, that's her name. And I give it four out of five stars. Spirit and Dust is about a first year college student named Daisy who can talk to the dead. And she helps the FBI figure out murders because she can talk to the people who died. And in the beginning of the story she is investigating the death of a bodyguard and also the kidnapping of the girl that the now dead bodyguard was supposed to be bodyguarding. <laughs> While she is trying to get remnants from dead people to find out who kidnapped this girl and why, she gets kidnapped herself by the father of the girl who has been kidnapped. <laughs> so the father of the girl who has been kidnapped kidnaps Daisy because he finds out that she can talk to dead people and he wants Daisy to find out who kidnapped his daughter and help him find the thing that the kidnappers want. It's all very magic based and there's a lot of like witchcraft and ghosty stuff. It's really cool. There's just there's just a lot of like witchy things and supernatural paranormal things in it and it is a little the story is a little bit complicated with all the different magical things that they have to do and find out, but for the most part it was just a lot of fun. So, the actual like main like plot is kind of confusing. There's a lot of witchcraft and ghost information that isn't really explained. They talk about it like they know what it is they're talking about because they do and then the reader doesn't really know because they're not witches and they're not magical. So they're just like, huh? They have to find the who and the what now to do the what? And there was a lot of information. Like there was a lot of information jammed into this this book. A lot of magical information that's obviously not real, so it makes it a little bit hard to grasp. Not all of the magical information is confusing, just how it was given to you in big chunks, and then, like, there was a lot of it that, that made sense to me, and the way that it came together was pretty cool. So yeah, it wasn't all confusing, but parts of it were. But I just kind of went with it and enjoyed it anyway, because it was fun. There was like mysteries to it and things they had to solve. A lot of running and Carson is hot, cars getting stolen and running again and oh my gosh, let's figure this out. And oh my gosh, there's more bad guys and oh, who is who and what is going on now? And Carson's hot and Walmart, Walmart, they went to Walmart. I love it when they go to real places like that for some reason. It just is... It just makes it feel that much more real than if they went to like some made-up store. But they went to Walmart to get clothes and a netbook. There were two things that I didn't like about it. The one thing that I didn't like was the confusing magical talk. Um, how there was just a lot of it and it was a little bit hard to grasp sometimes. Um, and the other thing that I didn't like was the twist at the end, which I feel like I'm having a lot of issues with twists lately. It just made the rest of the story seem pointless to me. Like, the bad guys could have gotten what they wanted in two seconds. I mean, obviously there would have been no story, but it wasn't believable that way, because... They could have just... they didn't have to go through everything they went through. I mean, I can't tell you, obviously, why they didn't have to go through what they went through, because that'll give everything away, but they didn't... Everything that happened in the book did not have to happen, and they would have been able to get what they got much easier if they just did something that I can't tell you what, but... <sighs> just because I didn't like the fact that the bad guys put made themselves have a lot more work than they had to, doesn't mean that it still wasn't a good story, it was still a lot of fun to read, and Carson was still hot. Overall, I just think it was a four-star book because I didn't love it, there were parts of it that I didn't like, but for the most part, I did really, really enjoy it, and it was a lot of fun. So Spirit and Dust is definitely a good read, especially if you like magic and dead people. Now, 
the father of the girl who's been kidnapped kidnaps Daisy. Did I say that the, her name is Daisy? 